Hello guys and welcome to the video. This video was made possible by the EA Game Changers Network as I was lucky enough to be sent out to Berlin to capture FIFA 19 early. Thank you very much EA for providing the food, the travel, the accommodation and of course sending myself out to the event. Time to crack underway with the video. So, the first Caltro team we are doing is Juventus. I mean, it'd be rude to do any other team other than that. And uh, yeah, so if you guys are new, basically I've already done quite a fair few ratings. A lot of the Prem and Real Madrid. And basically what I do is I go through the ratings one by one uh, with the actual ratings and then in-game stats. I give my comment on, because I've used a fair few of these guys, comment on what I think about them, what I think of the stats. If they've had an upgrade from a rare to a non-rare, sorry, a non-rare to a rare, maybe a ratings upgrade, a skill moves upgrade, and basically just give you a little bit of information on the players. But the most important thing is for you guys to get the in-game stats you wish. Now, you will have to be a little bit patient with me with this one because um, you might be able to see in the bottom right, there is a recording of 1 minute 42. So I've somehow gone through all the in-game stats and everything in 1 minute 42, which means I can literally be on players for like a millisecond, which means I might have to sometimes go back in the video and probably... I probably don't edit it out because uh, obviously I want to get loads of these videos out to you guys. So, it's time to crack underway with Juventus. And obviously we've got to start with the big man himself, Ronaldo. Absolutely insane. Must use him for about six games. It says two right there, but that's because someone discarded my Ronaldo because they're absolutely hilarious. Um, but yeah, he's a really good player, you know. Just, yeah, just as a skill, it was quite fun to use. There's his stats and then some. I mean, his aggression and strength uh, is kind of strange, because him being 6 foot 2, I guess that kind of counters it as such. But uh, yeah, really good, you know, pace is not looking too bad, shooting's uh, obviously pretty decent, dribbling, very nice. I mean, again, that low balance as well could be a little bit of a killer for him as such. But there is Ronaldo. Next person we got is Cellini, 89 rated, I believe that's the exact same rating as last year, but 2 star skill is, 2 star weak foot, 6 foot 2, medium, work, medium high work rate. Very nice physical. 92 with 87 is amazing for this sort of FIFA with uh, strength and aggression. Uh, decent jumping. Obviously, his defending is quite nice. Composure, shot power, and uh, sprint speed not being too shabby as well. And there is Chile. Now, so as we go, is Dybala. Dybala has had a plus one upgrade from last year. Or he might have had that mid, uh, mid FIFA upgrade. If we can get his skill moves quickly, that'd be great. Four star skill moves, three star weak foot, high medium, uh, five foot ten. Not bad, you know, so he's got stats in uh, the four positions you kind of want it in that cam with uh, pace, shooting, pa uh, passing and dribbling. The only problem is uh, physical is a little bit more uh, dominant, I'd say, this year with the new 50-50 system. So him having 6-6 um, six, six physical and again, we'll see some of the in-game stats in a second. It's a little bit of a letdown because he's got 48 aggression. So, I mean, aggression, I guess, a little bit better for dispossessing players rather than anything. But, yeah, it's a little bit... A little bit questionable because all his physical is actually in jumping and stamina. But uh, there you go. Decent pace. Really good passing. Decent dribbling. Really good uh, shooting as such. So 68 heading accuracy and uh, well, not much else in the defensive department prior, well, prior to that. Next person we've got is uh, Benashia. The skill moves update. There we go. So Benashia has had a plus one upgrade from last year. He did have a mid year uh, upgrade from 84 to 85. So now he's gone 85. 286 this FIFA, 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill with 6 at 2 with medium high work rates. Head over to the in game stats, really nice strength and aggression combo paired with the 6 foot 2, which he is. Uh, yeah, obviously good defending, decent, uh, I don't know, dribbling stats where it's not bad, but there you go, there is Medi Banashia. That's where we're going to crack underway with. I know I'm literally on this car for like a millisecond, yeah. It is uh, Pianic, don't worry, because uh, isn't he 5 star weak foot? Yeah, so he's actually lost his 4-star skills this year and has gone down to 3-star. Uh, he's maintained the same rating as he was last year. He's uh, obviously got 4-star weak foot. And there is Benashia. There's his in-game stats for you guys. Passing and dribbling, of course, being the, uh, I guess, the, the top dog stats. And other than that, he's just sitting on a bunch of orange and um, orange and greens. Hey, he's not looking like a bad card, but I, just, I don't know. I don't really know about him. Like, obviously, I'm losing the 4-star is a bit of a killer for myself. But yeah, I use him for 4 games. Part of how I managed getting red carded. There's your Pjanic. Your Pjanic in the Isco. And there's Benucci. I mean, the skill moves in Weefer, I guess, are not really going to be much interest to you guys. But he's sitting on. Yeah, he's sitting on two star skill moves and three star Weefer. If we can just see. You can see I'll literally on it for a millisecond. So low, high work rates. Uh, he's taken a minus two rating off of last year. Of course, he's got that one to watch and a team year last year. But obviously, team year was for the prior, uh, the year before's performance. And. Um, 
And yeah, he obviously didn't do too much at, uh, at Milan, but off to Juventus now he is. Uh, decent strength, decent aggression. Again, his pace is a bit of a killer because you've already got Chiellini and uh, Benascia who you can use as your, uh, your top dog centre-backs. And I think Barzagli probably even has a better card than him. Not bad shot power, I guess. Uh, long passing and short passing is really good. Again, he's got decent vision for a centre-back, which is really good because... Let's say you're trying to make a pass, maybe from, maybe trying to break from a corner or such. Ask me, banging because vision is, or how I kind of understand how vision works in FIFA 19 is, let's say I'm not directly looking at a player. Let's say I want to make a pass here, but I'm looking here. Well, high vision means I can get this pass a bit better, even though maybe my body weight and everything is looking this direction. Because, for example, you guys know in previous pieces, Manolos could bang a 40-yard pass looking the completely wrong direction. Well, vision, from what we've been told again, is that. The you know you the I guess the higher the vision the more you can get away with 180 passes or like 70 degree passes just where you're not looking the right direction and such or like sideways passes and such but uh, yeah there's Benucci and uh, a little little explanation on the old vision next player's got his Costa now I'm I know there's a millisecond but like in me trying to get this right here with the Costa or such but there you go. Costa five star skill moves three star weak fans had a plus two rating from last year which is decent. Of course, bagged himself team this season, so that probably helped it. Uh, really good card. Really, really good card. I haven't used him too much myself, but... Well, I haven't used him myself, obviously. But uh, a lot of people were pairing up with Ronaldo, and a lot of people were raving about him. But, uh, I mean, his card does look absolutely insane. You know, that dribbling, that shooting... Yeah, it's not... Sorry, dribbling, pace, shooting... Yeah, I say shooting and passing isn't looking bad. I honestly see him being an expensive one. I wouldn't be surprised if he sits, like... Due to the Ronaldo link, 120, 150k off the bat. Just due to the Ronaldo link, he's an amazing, like, he's he's a really, really good card. And obviously, he's had a nice little upgrade. We'll go to his in-game stats right now. Obviously, no surprise with really good pace. 86 shot power right there as well. See, his dribbling is absolutely insane. See, aggression and uh, strength for letting him down a little bit. But, you know, 95 pace, you, uh, you can't have it all. Then we head over to Alexandra. Again, I'm on there for the brief second. So, Alexandra is sitting on... By looks things because it's retracting. I think it was three star skill moves and three star weak fight, I presume. But I say we were we were only on it for a second right there. But there he is, you know, happy days. Uh what has he managed to have? I think he's kept the exact same rating. Obviously, he's still rare. Nothing too interesting. Kind of sucks because a lot of the wing backs had a uh, skill get uh, skill upgrades, and of course he's only sitting on the three star here he had last year. But there you go, really, really good physical stats right there. Obviously, 82 aggression, 79 uh, strength for such. Not bad for your wing backs. Um, dribbling, really good dribbling game. Marcelo has insanely good dribbling this year, which uh, you can check out in another one of my rating videos. But yeah, I mean, just an all round decent little card right there on the Alexandro. Obviously, he could find himself being used a fair bit with the other um, the other Juventus players. We've got much really. And there you go. But it looks like he's uh, carrying the three star, three star. Oh no, no. I, lie, I tell a lie. He's uh, two star skill moves, three. Two star skill moves, two star weave, but no way. That's insane. Two star skill. I mean, uh, two star skill moves, two star weak foot. Um, he has the exact same rating as last year. Of course, a high, high work rate, five for 11. But I'm not gonna lie, this card looks a lot, lot better than Pjanic. You know, you're seeing like 70s and 80s all over the board, whereas Pjanic, you had like, what, 286s? None of that wasn't looking too good. He he does look actually like an amazing card, par him. Uh, par him being a peg legged, uh, uncoordinated guy, but really good aggression, really good strength right there, decent jumping, uh, good standing tackles. I, I say, he, he looks really, really good. I say, with him being Juventus, French, Caltre, he's gonna be an expensive one off the bat because he is, uh, he is a really, really good card. Apart from if you're, uh, your name is Kazooie. But there we go. We now head over to Kadira. Another two-star skilling. Four-star Weaver, which isn't bad. So Kadira has had a plus one on the rating, if I'm not wrong. High, high work rate. He's being six foot two. Not too shabby. His in-game stats right there. Decent aggression and strength, which is what I look for all the time. Again, definitely would go for Machiridi over him. Uh, you know, the added pace is quite nice. Uh, quite a nice little bonus. Decent shot power, I guess, as such. Long passing, short passing, he's got down pretty well. But not bad on the uh, on the Kadira. Next card is, okay, so that's Ronaldo. So we're on to page numero dos. There you go, if I miss Barzagli right there. And there's Barzagli, two star skill moves, three star weak foot. So uh, yeah, a little bit better than Benucci, but again, you definitely want to go Chiellini and uh, Benascia. Six foot two, like every other Juventus centre back. 
And there we go. There's his uh, in-game stats. Obviously, amazing defending. Uh, 63 strength and six. Sorry, six six aggression and 83 strength is a weird combo. But um, but yeah, there's your bars ugly for you. Next card we have is man like Zukic. Now, one thing I want to check out: does he have three star or four star, man Zukic? Bullock's thing is three star, three star. Interesting. So I think he's kept that from last year. Uh, the 84 racing. What was he last year? I don't want to say he was 82 rated last year or 83 rated last year, but there you go, Mandzukic. I think definitely with a, uh, a rating upgrade as such. Not bad, you know? High, high work rates. I don't think too many people are going to be in a rush to uh, use him with the counterpart of Ronaldo. Really good physical, of course, 88 aggression with 85 strength fix. Uh, pretty meta this year. Of course, his pace and dribbling, not so much. Uh, 91 heading accuracy. So obviously, he's just your, uh, your big lad to whip it into. But then her Chesney, I'll be honest, no one really cares about Chesney's stats. Chesney has had a plus two from last year though, which is pretty decent. Then head over to Cordado. I'm doing myself no favours with uh with the pausing. Now we didn't load it up by Kanto. Cordado is actually four star skill moves. He's five foot ten. Um yeah. With a plus one off of last year. There's his in-game stats for you, 89 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, 78 attacking positioning, 84 shot power. Then obviously, really, really good dribbling stats to pair up with his uh, five-star skills, and uh, and yeah, not bad again. Physical, seventy-eight aggression is pretty decent. Sixty-one strength when go and miss. Next card is Perrin. I mean, let's be honest, no one really cares. Perrin, the exact same rating as last year. Nothing to scream a shout out. Next card we've got is Rugani. Rugani has had a plus ooh, plus two off of last year, if I'm not wrong, actually. Uh, three star weak foot, two star skill moves, uh, six oh three again, a slow centre back, no one's really gonna be using in a hurry. In game stats right here, obviously his physical's not looking too bad, his defending's looking decent, good reactions as such. But there we go. So the Rugar. There's an interesting card I wanna show you right here. Bernadeshi, right? It's such a strange one. Now again, I'm not quite sure if I load it up load it up fully right here. You can see ever so slightly. There you go. Bernadeshi, five star skiller, which means that off of Ronaldo, a five-star skiller, you can link Cordado, five-star skiller, Douglas Costa, five-star skiller, and Bernadeschi, five-star. I just find Bernadeschi, like, he's, whoa, we, Italy hasn't had a five-star skiller since uh, El Shirari. And for it to come in the hand of Bernadeschi, that's a bit weird to me. You know, especially when I'm like, Bernadeschi's, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't, I, don't, I, I, I can't say I've ever seen Bernadeschi. But, um, yeah, <laughs> it's just a bit, of a, a bit of an out of the blue one right there. But there you go, Bernadeschi, six foot one. Uh, he is maintaining the same rating he had last year. I mean, again, his acceleration is kind of killing it a little bit for him. He's got decent dribbling, which I guess could, uh, quote unquote, make up for as such. Uh, passing, obviously, 80 vision's pretty decent. Strength and aggression's pretty shoddy, though. But there's Bernadeschi with his five star skills. Then hello to Cancelio. Oh, Cancelio had four star, doesn't he? If I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, Cancelio has four star skills, uh, three star weak foot. Which uh, isn't too shabby. Six foot tall, high medium work rates. He's had a plus one on the rating, which is pretty decent. Head over to his in-game stats, and I'd say, well, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy's expensive off the expensive off the uh, the bat. So uh, yeah, I mean, he could also have a one to watch card very easily. But uh, acceleration, sprint speed, banging, decent crossing, ball control, curve, you know, stamina. So he's looking good. I mean, what's your other choice in uh, right back? What Visalco, I guess, other than Cancelio? Maybe there's another one I'm missing out. Next one we have is Emre Chan. Uh, again, not Emre Chan hasn't really done anything. Four star, four star weak foot, three star skill moves. Head over the in-game stats, decent physical, decent defending, decent passing, good shot power, happy days. And that is page numerate dos by the looks of things. Okay, for some reason I wanted to go for Emre Chan again. Here you go. Is your non-red to Siglia you don't really care about, but there's his stats. Get his skill moves quickly, that'd be great. He had four, five star weak foot, three star skills, which is interesting. But that is page numeri dos done. Hopefully, head over the concepts. We do indeed. And what do we have? We got Spinoza, a brand new transfer to the, uh, to the squad. I think he's had a. I wouldn't want to call it. It might have been a 75, could have easily been a 76 or 77, though. Uh, four star skill moves, four star weak foot, six foot one, high, high work rates. This is in game stats for you. I doubt you're probably going to be too interested. Bear in mind, his best stat is his stamina. Brilliant. Next card, Benacura. Oh, this guy's been upgraded from a silver to a uh, from a silver to a gold, and now he has four star skill moves, which uh, I couldn't have said he has last year. Medium, medium work rates. Again, I think he's had a plus four rating increase. I think it was a seventy two last year. Not bad though. Um, yeah, he's got a bit of dribbling on him as such. 
No, I mean, no one's going to be uh, rushing towards him, but it's just, you know, just an interesting little upgrade. Next guy, so we've got Keen again. I think this guy was sitting about an 8 74 last year, if I'm not wrong. Moved in from some other character A team. It's just, again, a silver card. Let's be honest, no one's really too fast. Three star, three star. Goalkeeper, let me just pause it. Left back, three star weak foot, two star skill moves. Again, let's be honest, nothing too interesting. And that is it. So that is wrapping up Juventus. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Again, you can pause it at any time. Foothead and Footwiz will have all of the in-game ratings for you guys. You can just head over there and just do uh, do the do, you know. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to check out the Twitter, I do tweet when I upload a video and live stream. I do live stream predominantly. I, my background is being a live streamer. I'm a trading live streamer if you've just come because, of course, of the FIFA 19 content. Uh, get a little background, traded 60 to 70 million coins last year, doing the exact same thing this year, but hopefully we can trade more. Uh, you can check out the Twitch, that's linked down below. And uh, and yeah, I think that wraps it. Again, like the video if it uh, feels good, subscribe if you're interested in trading, or, I mean, yeah, trading is really the only content I do as such, but cheers for watching, and I'll see you guys with another video.